close your eyes, locate your breath. It's right here. It's here all the time. The problem is that the mind is not here all the time. It wanders off. Its thoughts wander off. But the thoughts happen here in the present moment, which means that no matter how far your thoughts may wander, you can always come right back here, right next to where the thought was. So whatever distractions there are, allow them to go out, but you don't have to go out with them. You can stay right here. You don't have to be so fascinated with your thoughts, because the mind just keeps churning out stuff all the time. And it's not like you're poor in thoughts. We have so many thoughts going through the mind. We're actually richer if we can hold on to one thought. It's like fruit at a market, like durian. Outside of the durian season, if you had one durian come into the market, it would be really expensive. But in season, they're all over the place, and so much so that sometimes they get thrown away. Well, think of your mind as this one as having a lot of value. And look after that one mind. Because that's the mind that will enable you to see things clearly. If you have lots of thoughts, it's not that you're rich in thoughts. The value of each thought goes down, 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 the more thoughts you have. So you have one thought right here, the thought that you're going to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Adjust the breath so that it feels good, so the mind and the breath can fit together well. And that has value inside. Because when the mind is one like this, it can see itself. You can understand when a thought arises, why does it arise? And when you go along with it, why do you go with it? What's the motivation? Is it curiosity? Is it boredom? What's going on? When you understand the mind, then you can be more in control. It's not that we're never going to think again. As the Buddha said, the, one of the goals of the practice is to think the thoughts that you want to think and not think the thoughts that you don't want to think. And as you get more and more used to not wanting to think certain thoughts, your standards for what the thoughts are, are that would count as worth thinking get higher and higher. So the mind produces a lot better. Better merchandise, let's put it that way. So maintain this one thought. You're going to stay right here. And you come to realize that that one thought has a lot of value.